What's up, everybody? How you doing? It's time. Let's get after it. Oh, last time we had a very trying ordeal. Last time we had a very trying ordeal indeed at this tower. But now, we have double cast. So that's pretty sweet. So, we just need to figure out what the heck else to do because I've got a I've got one character left, I think. To get Yeah, I've got one party member left to get. I have no idea where they are. So... The hunt begins, I suppose. So my idea is we'll go ahead and take a look around the world. Hey, Nash. Here's the question. Is the last, is the last person that you can get really good? Is it worth having them? Yes, they are. Okay. Um, hmm. Well, let's figure out... So shall we find, shall we find this individual? Oh, actually, no, hold on. I need, uh... So is this some place that I can just go to, or this last character?
I kind of want to find the last the last character, but I'm not sure if, if that would be uh What do you say, Nash? You think we should go after this last guy? There's not really a way to do it unless you stumble onto it accidentally. Really? So is it like a random encounter or something like Gao? Jeez. There's a specific thing you have to do to get to where the hidden character is. So basically, I would have to get walked through it, is what you're saying? have to pretty much get told how to get there. Man, I kind of... I don't know, I kind of want to, even still. Okay, well, how about this? How about this? I'm not sure when I'm gonna play this game again, because there's a lot of stuff coming out that I need to get to. So it might be... It might be like a very long time before I actually am able to play this game again. Is this something that is like a really cool thing to experience? Is this a really cool character to have? Because if it's something cool that I would like not, I, I don't really want to miss out on, on anything major, you know what I mean? And actually people, I mean, yeah, I guess, I guess I kind of figured out how to get the Yeti. But people told me that the Yeti was there beforehand, so I don't know. Oh, interesting. Okay. Well, if it's something that I'm probably not ever going to find, then that's fine with me. I'd rather, you know what I mean? Like, if, if it's something that, you know, if it's something so crazy, but it's a cool thing, why not? Let's do it.
Oh no! That's not good. I think he stopped or something. Did I ever go to Triangle Island in the Word of Balance? Had an invisible enemy called in Antigear or something like that. Oh yeah, I did. I did. I did find that guy. I wasn't able to beat him. I bet I could beat him now. I'll go back and beat him. That sounds fun. Interesting. Okay, well, I'll go check that out then. Am I going to need to take the A-team? Make sure you're healed up and you have a good party. Okay. <laughs> I hope it's one of the dragons. Does this thing have anything to steal? And my ideas of who make for a good party have changed a lot after uh, the tower.
Oh yeah, I still need to be using this cursed shield. Nash in chat says the game is honestly more about equipment combos the further you get in. I've never used Realm seriously, for instance. Hmm. I really like her. Although I feel like you should probably just pick the characters that have the secondary benefits to, that are the best because you can manipulate how people level up.
Aha. Okay, well, we're gonna have to get some anti confused stuff going. Also, this music is super weird. Hey Galen, what's happening? Welcome to chat. How is it? How is this game? It is pretty awesome. What's that dude doing stuck in the middle? Pretty, pretty good. I've been really enjoying it, and it seems like I'm getting close to the end. I guess we'll see. Red Jacket. How you been? Ooh. Red Jacket can be equipped by Edgar or Sabin. Negates fire damage. Uh, Nash in chat says, how many dungeons have you done since getting the airship? Phoenix Cave and Cult Tower and collecting all the characters. Anything else? <sighs> there has to be more than that. I mean, if you if you um, if you count Figaro and Narsh as getting characters, yeah. Didn't I go back to uh, the capital city or something? Oh no, the capital city is kind of gone, right? Hmm. Hmm. 
Ooh, hold on a second. What's the, uh... Okay, what increases? Okay, I need to find the shield that increases fire damage. Is it this one? Oh dang, so the thunder one is like the best one. Dang it, is there no shield that increases fire damage? Cause I really wanted to be I really wanted to be clever and equip that shield and then the red jacket. Mm. Increases water, increases wind. So there's one, there's one major dungeon we haven't done, and one more you don't know if I've done. And then that's it, right? That's the end after that? Nation chat says probably a little cleanup stuff. There's a boss I don't know you've run into because of how it works, and actually another one that I think was added in the GBA version. Yeah, I don't know.
Hey, Link, can you welcome back to chat? Uh, the grinding goes well. I was actually going to be doing a bit more of that. But, uh... Stumbled upon a little craziness over here. So we're actually under the ground. In our search... For... Something that can keep confusion away from me. Was that, was that, what did we just find? Magical paintbrush? Paintbrush that enhances the user's abilities. Well, I guess I know what that is. <laughs> nice one, Lankany. Lankany says, hope the zone eater didn't suck. Too much. Sucked just enough. Thank you, sir. Magical brush. Interesting. Well, I've got to try this out. I've got to try this out. Even though it lowers my magic, which is what I'm mainly using her for. i got to see what what it looks like to sketch. Oh no. Oh, <gasps> fake mustache. What the heck kind of weird place is this? Changes the sketch command to control. Does that mean I charm people? Well, I have to try this. And I love that it's Realm with a fake mustache. This is awesome. How good is it? I know... I can't say why aren't people talking about this game because people have literally been talking about this game forever and I'm just now getting to it and that's my fault. Uh, but like... Like that's ridiculous. All the freaking weird stuff in this game. All right, well, I'm just gonna control you. Lankany in chat says uh, the word you're looking for is either timeless or classic. And Nash in chat says, yeah, I mean, this one has been, has long been considered uh, one of the best in the series by people familiar with it. I mean, yeah, it's just, th the thing that shocks me so much is the degree to which this is better. Like the ways in which this game is, is I feel superior to the other games. Like, it has the job system, basically, right? Uh, I mean, it, I guess it doesn't have the job system. It just, like, you're able to customize each person to whatever extent. Aw, oh, damn it. Uh, 
I should have brought Mog. I almost brought Mog. Why didn't I? I guess because you said, like, bring a really strong character, and I, I don't know why I didn't do that. I just need to always have Mog with me forever. The crazy thing about this game, and how much better it is, um, is Jesus. Are like all of the, um, like all of the crazy weird, all the crazy weird systems. It's just the goofiness of it, like, if you're gonna have a fake mustache in a game, if you're gonna have a fake mustache in a game, having it where the one character that can use it uh, is a little girl is just awesome. Uh, Lankin says you're still doing Maga's Dragon Dragoon Kane. Yes, yes, I am. Uh, Nash says, I think you can leave and come back if you want to grab Mog. Okay, I'm going to do a quick save. Just for convenience's sake, I'm going to leave and swap out... I don't know. Uh... Uh... I don't know. I don't know who I'm swapping out. Maybe Sabin? Uh... With Lankity. Realm deserves the fake mustache because look at her grandfather's face. It's true. He has a pretty great mustache. Uh, Terra's taking a ton of, ton of damage. Do you have her with white cape or zephyr cape for extra magic resist? I do not. I have her with the ribbon and the hero's ring. But my evasion is like non-existent because I'm wearing the curse shield. Actually, you know what I should do? Hold on. Let me let me take the uh, let me take the guard bracelet away, and let me just give her the guard bracelet. That way, she'll always have protect and shell on. Now, quick question: Somebody told me to put the ribbon on. Terra for when I was using the cursed shield is that a real is that a is that a real thing do I need to keep that because I've never done it I've never had it on without the ribbon also on I'm assuming that that uh, I should keep doing that okay um I'm guessing have Sabin step out just because his stupid um Lankany Curse Shield plus Ribbon plus Lich Ring is my go-to. What's the Lich Ring? Do I have one of those? I don't think I have a Lich Ring. Because I think I'd be all about it. And I usually put it on Celeste and just have her spam Runic while the rest of the party does the DPS. Yeah, that's pretty good. I've been thinking about that, and I think that Celeste has got to be one of the best characters in the game for that very reason. I was kind of thinking about this last night. As I was hanging out, I was just kind of thinking uh, in my head while I was debating whether I wanted to also be playing on um, on Vita, which is the PS1 version of the game. And I started playing it, and just the load times between going to the menu and stuff are just insufferable. Um, and then I looked on the 3DS um, eShop, and you can't... Uh, you can't... Uh, by this game at all um, which is a little frustrating because that would be the the Super Nintendo version of the game and it's just not there I'm thinking I want to swap out save it but what for Mog um, just because Sabin when his stupid moves screw up like I don't get anything he's just sitting there like a like a meat puppet you know what I mean 
And you know what? Maybe I will do that. Let's do this. Let's go Celeste. Realm. Mog. I don't even know if Edgar is that useful anymore. Because like his normal stuff, now that I have Osmos on all my magic characters. I feel like his, uh, his flash and his AOE abilities just don't do as much as magic. Not sure. All right, so we're going to go uh, Celeste, Terra, Realm, Mog. Because I've just been doing just magic all over the place, just constant AoE magic damage. It seems to be working out pretty well for me, so... Anybody else think that Celeste kind of looks like a female version of, of uh, Cecil from 4? Lankany said, uh, are you implying that Cecil had a womanly figure? I was actually almost going to say that, uh, that, um, that she looked like, uh, Cecil from Final Fantasy IV, except less pretty. I almost said that, but I, uh, I did not. Are you implying that Cecil and Kane had some unresolved sexual attention? I don't know what I'm saying, man. Kane definitely had some. Nash says uh, Kane definitely had some tension anytime he was around Rosa. That's for sure. That dude was trying to be Mrs. Uh, Mr. Steal Your Girl. I'm, I feel like I'm getting back attacked a lot, so I'm just gonna use this because uh, I feel like that will assist me. Yeah, uh, Nash, I know I know if I'm using the Moogle Charm, I won't get attacked at all, but I figure I need to get attacked by that worm again, and then I'll do it once I get down there. I don't want to, um, 
I'll take the charm off once I get past that stupid puzzle. I just don't want to keep getting knocked down and keep getting into fights and not be able to get past those stupid guys. But if the only punishment is that I have to run around for like five seconds, that's not that big of a deal. Because I still want to cleanse the, the curse shield uh, and those other things. I just don't want to have this become a... I spend 30 minutes trying to get across one stupid bridge because I just keep getting into random battles. Oh God, Lankini, you've been uh, you've been away for a while. Yesterday's stream was completely uh, caught up in uh, doing the giant stupid tower. The stupid magic only tower was the worst. Oh my God. Oh my God, it was the worst. It was like it was like if you took I don't know uh, I I don't remember Lankini if you were there the episode that I did the house when I first found Sabin after the world ended. Um, but it was basically a giant version of that house. Like I got to the end. Uh, yes, I did learn to appreciate re-raise. In fact, I finished, I finished him so easily. Um, I finished him so, so easily. Um, the first time and then died. And I was like, no. Okay, let's go, let's go take a, uh... <laughs> he didn't, Nash says he didn't have reflect rings. Lankin, he says, didn't have rings? That reflects badly on you. Uh... Oh, I love you so much, Lankin. Never change. Never leave. Ah, oh, come on. Well, this is why we're wearing the thing. Those guys are too fast. They need to slow them down just a hair. So I was thinking that actually I was missing a place like up, you know, to the north, but that's actually the exit, which is crazy. Okay. Well, look at that. Is that real? Lankin in chat says, this area, by the way, was Square's homage to Nintendo and Mario. Fake mustache, guy in, in Luigi green, uh, platform jumping. If that's the case, that's so cool. I really appreciate that. I would believe it. Okay, let's take this relic off and get back into battle.
Whoa. Oh my. Zephyr Cloak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That reminds me very much of, um... Actually, when did this come out? Did this come out? This would have come out... This was like a swan song for the SNES, right? This was very late in the SNES. Um... Did this come out after Mario 64? 93 in the US. Interesting. No, but it would have been designed before that. I'm just thinking there were some um, there were some N64 puzzles, uh, some Mario 64 puzzles that kind of reminded me of that. There's also some other uh, some other games that had uh, that had puzzles like that. I'm trying to remember which one. It was Zelda. It was Zelda. They had uh, they had a puzzle like this in uh, in um, Ocarina of Time, which still would have been after this. Um, but that's very interesting. What the heck is this? This is very strange. Go-Go. Wait a second, I've seen this guy before. Yeah, I fought this guy. Weird. Got all the characters. So 
I'm guessing since uh, since you have to do the uh, the worm dude to get in here. Oh, that was easy. Those guys looked really, uh, really intimidating. Man, the crazy thing is look how many freaking spells I'm missing. Like, that's outrageous to me. That's absolutely insane to me. I have so many summons. Lankany in chat says uh, he probably hasn't done the secret whale castle in the sky with the army of imp ninjas. I haven't yet. But somebody spoiled that for me. You know, before. Before you, so. You know, it is what it is. What it is. You know, you gotta just make do with what you can. Now the guy that I talked to at the uh, at the tower, uh, the guy that I paid a bunch of money to, made a mention of a something deep under Figaro where there's a lot of treasure, and also that the weaponsmith in Narsh was looking for me. Now the weaponsmith in Narsh was looking for me to give me that Ragnarok that I already got, right? Uh, so I already did that. Uh, the thing under Figaro, uh, seems like it would be, like, just in the castle. In Figaro Castle. Which would be, like, the treasure that the thieves took that Edgar let them just get away with because he just wanted to get the castle free and save his people. So my idea is to explore around Figaro Castle and kind of see, or maybe go under the ground in the castle and see if I can find something. Or, what is Figaro known for? Dig deep and you'll find the answer. Well, it's the famous castle that came out, right? I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't really know what Figaro is known for besides its lecherous king and the ability of the castle to move around. But Lankany is, is whatever Figaro is known for, Lankany is known for making those dank ass puns. So since he says dig deep, I'm guessing we need to dig around underneath the oceans of sand. Like, and he says, Lecherous King, time to start squeezing everybody you see. This stratum's unusually rough. We seem to be catching on something. Oh, look at that. I should probably go down to the engine.
Ooh, I haven't tried holy yet. Aww. Oh, look at that beautiful damage. We're going to speed this up a little bit in the best way. Molulu. Royal Crown. I'm guessing only Edward can use that. Edgar and Sabin. Cool. Good point, but still glad that I explored this so that I could find that wonderful, wonderful crown. Castle caught on something outside while it was moving. Yeah. I just need to figure out how to get outside. I guess I can go up. I guess I have to go over to the right. Is there a way to get out from here? Oh, there is. Uh-oh. This is so nice to just run around willy-nilly, knowing that nobody can attack me. Whee! Okay. Time to put your tri pants on. Oh no, monster in a box! Oh no! 
Oh no! This dude also has barrier? What? Yeah, don't use runic on boss fights. Hell, don't have cursed shield for boss fights. How the hell was I supposed to know that this stupid chest was going to be a boss fight? It's a chest in a stupid cave. against wind. Fuck. That doesn't help. I can't use wind without killing myself. Oh, what the hell? I'll try it. Well, how the hell am I supposed to freaking beat this guy? I don't know what these do.
water. Damn it. Give me something. Give me something. Earth. Oh, I thought when he walked up to me, I thought he was gonna just one-shot everybody. Went against wind. Give me something good. Oh, really?
What? I missed? Yes! It's time! No! Damn you! You were the worst! The one time that I could have actually done something. Oh god, I hate this guy so much. Just so very much. Also, I love how, like, casting Libra on him sometimes makes him change his barrier. Barrier is literally the worst thing in this entire game. kidding me? You can literally just do physical attacks to him all the time? I thought the reason that he was immune to all my stuff was because uh, was because he was also immune to physical damage. You've got to be freaking kidding me. That's so ridiculous. I would have killed him ages ago.
So I can literally just have freaking Mog jump on this fool. Hey, Kimo. Welcome back to chat. Uh, I'd actually wondered about that. Uh, I'd asked somebody in the chat and nobody seemed to have that answer. Because it seemed to me that it would be a tell. Uh, of like what spell he was using. Uh, but nobody was able to... Nobody was able to give me an answer on that. Because, like, I tried to, when he used Fyraga, I tried to use Blizzaga against him, and it didn't super work. So. Yeah, because that's what makes sense to me, but... You gotta be kidding me. Oh, excellent. So everybody, so <laughs> nobody heard because everybody stepped away for a second. Oh. Obtained Gladius. All right, that was just excessive. So freaking dumb. I was asking the right questions, just to the wrong people. Teleport, save, and come back in? Yeah, I guess. To rest after that ridiculous fight? Oh, I don't even have enough magic. Oh, you legit can't do it. Whatever. Can you believe a monster like that was sitting so close? So how am I supposed to... How am I supposed to rest? Now I can I can have them uh, go like just go to the next place and then come back, right? And then we'll get stuck again. Also, how long is this dungeon? Two main floors, Kimo says. That doesn't sound too bad. Yeah. 
I tell you what, I'm going to step away for a sec, take a little bit of a bio break, and we'll get back to it.
You guys see Jake up there? Making a party? Alright, I gotta get back to it. Can you take him out? He's adorable, but he's gonna, he is 100% gonna step on top of my uh, controller and all sorts of business. Alright, let's get back to it. Okay, cool. Okay, two main floors. How many more of these freaking stupid boss? I can't believe I didn't know you could do that. Now here's the question. Should I be Should I be wary for more bosses? I feel like maybe I should. I guess this is the only way that I can go because the other place led to just that chest. Should I be fighting battles here? Like, is it super tough and crazy? Death Tarot. I bet that's for uh, Kenny Rogers. Yeah, it is. Aha! I see your game. Oh my, this is just a crazy place. I freaking save right before this. I don't trust these chests anymore. X potion. Magicite shard. Why do I feel like all the enemies here would be just brutally difficult if I fought them? What is this? Uh-oh, it's an Esper, isn't it? Zentetsuken! Nice. It's Ghosty Boy from the train.
Ooh. Blessed dagger. With the power to smote the evil foes. It seemed like there were more things for me to go around and explore. I just kind of stumbled upon this. But I'll go back and explore those. Is there like a bunch of... Oh no! Monster in a box! It's another boss! against poison. Well, don't mind if I do. Oh no! Oh no! Gil toss, son of a bitch. How dare you. Uh-oh. That's not good. Oh, no! Where is it? Reflect. Weak to poison, it doesn't do hardly any damage to him. Jeez. Or maybe they mean like this type of poison. Oh, they do mean poison. Well, so much for Mog. Realmland, Thurndaga and Blizzaga obtained the Master's Scroll and a ton of gill. Yeah, all these bosses have ridiculous gimmicks. Master scroll? Is it something you throw? Some dumb thing like that? 
Flame scroll, lightning scroll, water scroll. I guess it's not. If it's not something that you throw. Master scroll. Master scroll. Master scroll. Allows the bear to attack four times per turn. Oh, damn. Yeah, we're going to be using that. Um, now, here's the question. If I put this on Mog, uh, and, and do jump, is he going to be able to jump four times per turn? Okay, well, you know what? It's still time. It's still time for Master Mog. To freaking show his chops. Guessing this is another one. Another ridiculous boss fight because they seem to be everywhere. Oh, obtained Punisher. What's that? Punisher. Draws MP from its wielder to deal criticals. Interesting. Best relic combo with the scroll is something else anyway. Is it something that I have or no? Did I, did I legit find everything in here? Huh. Fancy that. I could have sworn that I actually missed something. That's why I came back here, because I, I didn't want to proceed without getting everything in there. Feels like I've kind of explored all of these areas as well. So I feel like I'm probably going to... I'm either going to have to find Stone Odin or I'm going to have to fight that wizard dude. Which is probably going to be just the worst.
Gotta check them statues. These statues are in a weird placement. Can you push them? No? Huh. That's very strange. Use a gold needle. Oh, cool. So you just get... You just get them like that. Cool. Now I'm guessing as I leave, I'm gonna have to fight some crazy person. Oh wait, no, there's like passageways and stuff. Hold on. Clustered with glittering gems, Queen's Diary. Well, that sucks. Can't blame them. Odin's, Odin's a dude's dude. Okay, well you know one of these is gonna be a boss. Blizzard orb. Gold hair. <gasps> yes! Oh, you guys. You guys have no idea how happy I am right now. Oh, I don't need that. Let's get that freaking gold hairpin going. Whoop. Yes. Like any, it was found in an ancient castle. Shouldn't it be an old hairpin? weird going on here, man. Sure I can't push these statues?
If you combine the Master Scroll and the Genji Glove, does that mean that they actually attack eight times? Something's wrong in this room. I'm just not sure what to do about it. Oh my. Get out of here with your business. Oh no! Can Banish be reflected? Or can, can Holy be reflected? God, I love Lankini so much. He says, whenever I get stuck, I like to sit down and think and wonder where things started going south. Quick. Yeah, yeah, I, I, uh, I'm picking up what you're laying down, so. That isn't actually very good. Like, I feel like I do way more damage when I'm... when I'm freaking dragooning it up. So I'm just gonna freaking do it. Moving back to the background because I feel like I'm doing way more damage that way. What's up, Games of Sermons? Welcome back. Back attacks for days, what the hell?
You gotta be kidding me. Well, if there's one thing I can rely on, it's the fact that Mog is a freaking a hoss. No, oh, Kimo, I didn't, uh, I didn't, I don't have, uh, the Master Scroll on anymore. I have the double, um, I have the double dragon stuff. Okay, what is better to learn? Meteor, Ultima, yeah, what's better to learn? Meteor or Ultima? Rains meteors down on enemies for massive damage. Attacks all enemies with powerful lost magic. Ultima? Okay. I'm gonna have her learn Ultima. Cause she's doing a good job. We're just gonna do that, because why not? Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna, I don't like doing this because if I get into a fight, I don't want to, because you can't change your relics, I don't want to be, I want to have the best jump available, because I'm really liking this freaking ridiculous Mog build.
it's gotta it's gotta be something with the suits of armor and the crossed swords. It has to be. Oh God. <laughs> and I know everybody in chat knows exactly what's going on and I'm just screwing it up. I don't know if I'd like to know if I'm on the right track. <laughs> yes, I'd like to know if I'm on the right track. thinking like it does not have to do with the armor swords what It doesn't have anything to do with the swords or the armor. You're sure? And I know that that's maybe stupid for me to ask, but... Does it have something to do with the pillars? Like... bit of both you know i'm i'm thinking out loud and also i don't know like i don't want to i don't want to find them aggravating chemo. I know that Lankany is really good at giving like punny clues, but since I still have no fucking clue what he's talking about, it's like really aggravating. It makes me feel really dumb for not being able to figure this stupid thing out. But the, the, the question, the question that I have is like, how, like, there's, there are obviously things in this room that indicate that, like, hey, 
stuff is weird, right? Like, this wasn't built properly. But, um... But... Yeah, there's nothing, there's nothing anywhere that, that says... And, to be perfectly honest, the things, the things that are off about, about this room are the stairs are in the completely wrong places. Um, the armor is in the wrong spot. The swords are all weird. There's like a statue over here and there isn't one over here. And it's, it's just weird. The other than that, the area is totally symmetrical, which is why it's throwing me off. There's something there's there's something in here that that So maybe it's in an area where the layout does make sense. Right, there's no perfect symmetry. There's literally no in-game clue to figure this out. <sighs> to be honest, this puzzle is one of the harder ones. It's not intuitive at all. from the throne. What? What did I just do? <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh. <gasps> there's a dragon. Guys, there's a dragon. Was that was that it? Where where am I? If that was it, if I just did it, freaking accidentally, then I need to see some freaking Craigasms up in here.
That's so ridiculous. So you travel the entire world. You travel the entire world trying to find all the dragons. Like any, I missed this on my first playthrough as a child. My friend had to tell me. The dragon's name is perfect for me right now because I was holding my breath in suspense for long. I was almost turning blue. I believe it. Look at that. Look at that damage. Look at that damage. Lankany Dragoon Mog is perfect. Two freaking jumps. That was like six to seven K damage and then a freaking holy on top of it. Look at that. It's beautiful. Obtained Zantetsuken. Two dragons remaining. I'm guessing Zantetsuken is like a really amazing sword probably. Zantetsuken. May randomly dispatch an enemy in one hit. Well, ooh, uh, yes, I think I will. Gigas Glove, Master Scroll, and freaking Zantetsuk. And let's freaking see what she can do. Uh oh. Freaking save. I don't trust this lady at all. Odin becomes Raiden. Cleaves all enemies in two. Quick. Allows the target two turns, two actions every turn by stopping time for everyone else. Oh, geez. So you could do quick and uh, master scroll? That seems ridiculous. So for the people who were saying that uh that Ultima wasn't the most powerful spell in the game. I'm guessing uh, that Quick is the most powerful spell in the game, probably. Uh, Kimo, yeah, you weren't there yesterday. I literally did the Cultist Tower for the entire stream. <laughs> Lankany, Raiden is basically, you like big numbers? Yeah, me too, let's get more big numbers. I agree. Can I use a freaking golden what's his schnatz on him? Is that all that's down here? Just a freaking that's all there is, just an amazing summon and a and a blue dragon. Quick Ultima 
Ultima, 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 Ultima in one turn. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, that's pretty amazing. Plus, it's super cheap because you got that gold hairpin on. So did I get everything in here? I feel like I've had a pretty sweet... <laughs> Lankity. <laughs> Kimo gave us the combo of Soul, Th Soul of Thamasa, Quick Ultima, 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 one term. Lankini says, think bigger. Quick plus Genji plus Mug equals take everyone's 401k. But also... Uh, with chemos, you don't end up in prison. I mean, I guess you would if you murdered everybody. Hey, check it out, the devil. Whoa, wait, what? I'm sorry. Oh, that, that is magical. Oh God, I love that. It's a sword that attacks everyone. <gasps> Be still my heart. That's pretty incredible actually. I think I found Celeste's end game situation. Yeah, Celeste does appear to be working out some anger issues that last fight, yeah. She's not putting up with it. I feel like when we started the game, regular attacks were amazing. And, uh... And, uh... <laughs> when we started the game, physical attacks were good because you couldn't afford to cast all of the magic that you wanted to. Um... Then... We got really good magic. Um, oh, Kimo, you've made me so happy. Zant's extra effect doesn't technically count as a death spell like the Assassin's Dagger does, so it works on undead things too. <gasps> oh, I'm so happy. So, okay. So the beginning of the game, we used regular attack a lot because, and tools and things like that, because um, we didn't have enough magic to do proper stuff. Uh, and then what happened was we got, we got great magic all over the place. And, uh, and we started to really enjoy it. You know what I mean? And now, I feel like so many of these, uh, th there's such a, there's such a confluence of spellcasters, they're just everywhere. Um, and Reflect is so prominent that, uh, it seems like we're looping back around and now I just need to be just attacking things. I need to just go straight physical, you know what I mean? Because look at that. Look at that. Between Mog doing his freaking Dragoon thing and and Celeste doing her freaking Zantetsuken Master Scroll thing. 
like, you know what I mean? Now I kind of feel like I need to have Celeste, Mog, Edgar, and Sabin. If you know what I'm saying. Oh my god, do you see that? Look at that. Mog could theoretically do 30,000 damage in one attack. If he procs holy. Interesting. Lankany says, uh, that's why uh, many people on repeated playthroughs put restrictions on themselves. People do only natural magic runs, where they only use espers to boost stats. Interesting. Have any of you guys done any of those uh, any of those types of runs? Because this definitely seems like the type of, of game that I would enjoy to play again if I ever had a freaking free moment to play, uh, you know, to play more than all the stuff that I'm trying to catch up on. I know some people in chat have commented that they're actually they've actually started playing through the game uh, since we've been doing this uh, this stream series, which is a great compliment. Kimo says, I'm in the middle of a 100% run. I think that's the only tough thing I'm ever going to do. Okay, so I've done Ragnarok. I've done this. Lankany says, I haven't done one for a while. I mainly play the Beyond Chaos version for replay value. What's, uh, what's Beyond Chaos? Rages and bestiary are the hard part. Yeah, because don't you have to get rages for every... Uh, every enemy in the game? Oh, rages don't exist for every enemy. Beyond Chaos is a hacked version of FF6 for SNES emulators. Basically, anything that can be randomized in the game is randomized each time you play. Holy crap, are you serious? So what does that mean? Like, what sorts of stuff can be randomized? I don't know what kind of stuff would be randomized. I mean, I guess the enemies, but like, does that mean that you could potentially run into like a behemoth in the first area of the game? Whoa, Lankin, he says, so you start the game, Terra is your first character, right? Nope, it's actually Mog, and Mog doesn't know dance, Mog knows blitzes. That sounds awesome. So you could potentially not have Sabin, but have a freaking Mog Blitzer. You're gonna have to hook me up with that because that sounds really fun. Yeah, Lankany, tweet, 
tweet at me uh, with a link to that. I have to see this. That sounds awesome. Weird. That's crazy. Oh, oh, I wouldn't... Even if you linked it to me now, I would just download it and just hold on to it. I wouldn't start playing it now. Okay, so what else? So we did... We did that castle thing. Should we stop there? I feel like... I feel like we're getting pretty close, right guys? Like maybe one or two streams until the end? Nash, if you're still around, was that was that uh, dungeon that we just did, was that one of the ones that you were talking about that we hadn't done yet? Was that, uh, yeah, Kimo, actually we, we did. We went and got uh, Gogo, I think his name was. So we're, uh, we're in a pretty good place, right? Freaking weirdo, Gogo hanging out there with the Yeti. Because of course he would, because he's a freaking weirdo. I need to try him out. Is his ability literally just Mimic? He has, like, magic and attack, and then his special ability is Mimic, because if that's the case, I should get Gogo in there. Now, if he when he Mimics somebody, I'm assuming that's what it is. Um, yeah, lots of, lots of Magicite left. Let's see, let's see what we have. Let's take a quick stock. Okay, so I've got I've got a few. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm missing eleven. Lankany said, remember when I said my favorite party, uh, what's my favorite party, and I had to say Sid instead of spoiler? It's Goku. You have to check out his status page in your party and use him in battle. That's the best way to learn it. Okay. Well, next time, uh, next stream, I'll run around with Gogo for a while. Now, here's, here's a question. If I have the Master's, uh, if I have the Master Scroll on Celeste and I have Zantetsuken on her as well, and I attack like that, and then I hit Mimic on Gogo, does he do literally the exact same thing as though he's holding all the exact same weapons and relics? Like if I do dual cast, if I do freaking dual cast quick, Ultima, 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 Ultima on uh, Realm, and then hit Mimic on him, does he do all that stuff? Or is it a situation of like, he has to know the things and then he can do it or... No, he couldn't, he couldn't Mimic Celeste like that? That's a shame. Cause then like the ultimate team would be like somebody with the setup like Celeste. Um, Yeah, Nash, I know, I know Master, Squaw, Master Scroll doesn't quad your cast. It just uh, makes you attack four times. But I'm talking about the quick Soul of Thamasa combo.
Lankini, he will miss your he will mimic your actions, but not with the same gear, and all of his attacks will be based off his stats, not the person he mimics. Okay, so if I had uh So if I had Realm do the Soul of Thamasa quick ultima 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 thing, he would only cast like quick and then ultima like what? Or no, I guess not at all. However, he doesn't have to learn magic. If you use magic with him, he knows all the spells that the rest of your party knows. Huh. That's pretty convenient. So do you only equip him with espers to give him the stat bonuses? Oh, you can't- he can't equip espers? Weird. Strange. Okay. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no wonder everybody loves him! So you could just be like, yeah, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna do... I'm just gonna do this. <laughs> oh, no wonder everybody loves him! That's awesome! So you can't take Mimic off of him. Oh man, this is cool. So I can give Goku... <laughs> So if you give him Rage, does he know all the Rages that Gao knows? Yeah, Lankini says, but keep in mind, let's say you use tools on Gogo, his tools won't be like Edgar level because his stats and gear are different. But here's the thing, if- oh no, no, you can't. Because I was just going to say, if you would level up his stats, but you can't equip Espers on him. Well, what the heck are his stats like? Like, what's he best for? Looks like he's best for magic. Yeah, his stats are kind of middling. Interesting. Huh. It's 
strange. Man, I'm excited to uh, kind of fool around with them a little bit. Um, yeah, I'm trying to figure out who I want, like, the... The freaking strong four to be. I'm thinking I might actually want Strago in there. I mean, think of the Tom Berry fight. Keep. Kept doing barrier, he could spam tools, may not be Edgar level, but whatever gets the job done. That's true. And I could give him I could give him magic and tools, and he could basically just be like Edgar Jr. And then I could have both of them. So he could do since he would know all the spells that everybody had, he would be basically like a lesser he'd be kinda like Terra or Celeste and or I guess Edgar knows tons of magic as well. He would basically just be able to focus on whatever. He's a good flex member. Like he can he can adapt to whatever you need him to be in that situation, which is pretty nice. Now here's a question. Can you get Gogo right when you get to the world of ruin? I mean I guess no, you have to get the you have to get the shit back. Him, Lock, and Shadow are how you have a stealer in each of your three parties for Kefka's Tower and the Dragon's Den. Nice. Okay. And I still haven't tried the Yeti yet. I'm gonna have to have a freaking weird... I'm gonna have to do like a freaking Go-Go, uh, Umaro, Mog, freaking Kenny Rogers or Gao uh, thing. After the airship, yes, you could go right for him, but it's super tough because of the enemy level. Now, here's the question. If you can get Mog before you go to the World of Ruin, you could potentially have him and the Signet that gets rid of all random encounters, right? So you could just go straight to him. Like we did, actually. Right? No? Because there's no boss fight in there. Malulu's charm only shows up in World of Run. So if you don't get him... Or so if, I guess if you get him before, you still have to go back and get him in that same spot. Weird. Okay. It's crazy. This is crazy. Okay. Well, we'll do we'll do some more of this um, maybe tomorrow, and we'll see. Maybe I'll uh, play a little bit more tonight and uh, try to get some rages and lore and stuff like that. Dang. Yeah, that was pretty crazy. So thanks a bunch for hanging out, guys. Um, as always, uh, I'm Brian Barnett, the host of the Platformers Podcast. Uh, the show's probably going to be going live a little bit late because of technical difficulties, um, this week. So, but I'll, I'll keep you guys informed, uh, on Twitter. Uh, tweet at me at Ribnax, R-I-B-N-A-X, um, with what you want me to stream next. I should probably start thinking about that. I got a couple of ideas. Uh, I'm thinking about doing the Metroid 2 fan remake um, because I've never played Metroid 2 uh, and I want to play that uh, before the Nintendo remake comes out. Uh, there's a couple other things. Um, some people were talking about Suikoden 2 or maybe some other RPGs or things like that. Um, yeah, so that's about it. So thanks for hanging out, guys. And uh, I'll be streaming more tomorrow. And until then, I'm out.